This schematic shows the top view of a gel cassette. The three colors represent the three molded components of the assembly. During manufacture, the agarose gel is cast into the top cover in an inverted position. There are key areas of the gel where the current flows beneath the agarose, and it is important to keep these clear of bubbles, which may impede electrophoresis. The area behind the elution wells must also be cleared of bubbles. The gel cassette has a continuous buffering system, which allows the bubbles to be moved around the cassette interior and easily cleared. To prepare a cassette, remove the cassette from the foil bag. While still taped closed, hold the cassette sideways with the elution well side down. Tap to clear any bubbles from beneath the agarose in the 13 elution pathways. Then rotate the cassette to collect these bubbles in the lower reservoir. Make sure there are no bubbles beneath the end of the separation gel column. Continue to rotate the cassette and then tap to remove bubbles from behind the elution wells. Finally, collect the bubbles in the upper reservoir area. Only bubbles below the agarose and bubbles behind the elution wells need to be cleared. Make a quick check below the electrode area of the separation column. Place the cassette on a flat bench surface. Hold down firmly and peel off the tape. Remove buffer from all 13 elution wells. Set pipetter to 40 microliters to completely empty the wells. Keep the pipette tip vertical in the well to avoid damage to the membranes. Add 30 microliters of fresh buffer to all 13 elution wells. Take care not to introduce additional bubbles into the elution modules. Use a P100 pipette to replace the buffer in the final 13th well. This well is included in order to maintain the proper field strength in well number 12. It may be used to collect an additional fraction, but it is not accounted for in the software calibration. Seal elution modules with the pressure sensitive tape provided. Take care not to obstruct the lower electrode port with tape. Firmly rub the tape with a finger, then secure the seal using the back end of a Sharpie or similar object. It is important to ensure a complete seal on the elution ports. Carefully move the cassette to the instrument nest while keeping it level. Top up the liquid level in the sample wells with fresh buffer. To ensure the correct current values, it's critical to fill the buffer completely up to the top of the cassette as shown here. and move on to the electrophoresis current test. Close the lid. Press the Clear Run Data button. Select the appropriate cassette description, cassette definition, and protocol that will be run. Select the nest or nests onto which the cassette or cassettes have been placed. Press the check current button. You will hear the lid mechanism engage and the test will automatically proceed.
a pop-up window with a progress bar will appear. At the end of the test, the lid will disengage and the window will indicate whether current test was successful for the separation and elution channels. The most common causes of current failure are buffer related. If you experience a separation failure, top off the cassette with buffer. And if you experience an elution failure, replace the elution well buffer once again. If you get a second failure, contact Sage Science support. Press return to close the window and return to the main tab.